Hello viewers, in this video, I will try to give you a little insight about a novel, about a detective novel, sorry, detective novel called The Murder of Roger Eckert. So this novel is a work of detective fiction by British writer Agatha Christie. And it was first published in June 1926 in the United Kingdom by William Collins. And uh, it is the third novel uh, to feature Hercule Poirot as the lead uh, detective. So uh, I would like to appeal here that please read the whole text line by line. Then only things will be clear to you. And there will be some pronunciation error and you should verify that also. Okay. So let's discuss it. So now we have to know what is detective fiction. Actually, detective fiction, it is a subgenre of crime fiction and mystery fiction in which an investigator or a detective, uh, either professional, amateur or re retired, uh, they uh, investigate a crime, often murder. And the detective genre, it began around the same time as speculative fiction and odd, other genre fiction in the mid 19th century. And it has remained extremely popular, particularly in novels. So some of the most famous heroes of detective fiction include C. Auguste Dupin, Sherlock Holmes, Holmes and Her Hercule Poirot. Okay, so that's it about detective fiction. Now let's try to know uh, about the author. So the author is uh, Dame Agatha Mary Clarissa Christie, uh, Lady Mellowin. She was born on 15 September 1890 and died on 12 January 1976. She was an Eng English writer, novelist, best known for her 66 detective novels and 14 short story collections, especially those revolving around fictional detectives, Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple. And uh, she has also written the world's longest running play, The Mousetrap, which has been performed in the West End since 1952, as well as six novels under the pseudonym Mary West McCott. Besides, uh, in 1971, she was made a damn DBE for the contribution to literature. Uh, so what is DBE? I don't know. But if you search in Google, then all things will be clear to you. And Guinness World Records uh, has listed her as the best-selling fiction writer of all time and her novels having sold more than two billion copies so that was about the author and the uh, novel okay now let's try to know a brief summary or synopsis of this crime fiction okay so in the uh, novel the book's narrator dr james sefford uh, has in introduced himself and he has explained uh, these are his memories of a murder which happened in his town in king's abbot wealthy widow mimesis ferrers uh, unexpectedly committed su suicide distressing her fiance uh, fiance the widower roger accurate the roger accurate okay and at dinner that evening in accurate's home of fernley park he his guests include his sister-in-law mrs cecil occurred uh, and her daughter Flora, big game uh, hunter, Major Blunt, and Accurate's personal secretary, Geoffrey Raymond, and Dr. James Sefer, whom uh, Accurate invited earlier that day. During dinner, Flora announced her engagement to uh, Accurate's stepson, Ralph Patton. And after dinner, Accurate has revealed to Sefer in a study that Mrs. Ferrers had con confided in him that she was being blackmailed over the murder of her husband. Then he asked Sefer to leave, wishing to read a letter from Mrs. Ferrers that arrived in the post, uh, which was containing her suicide note. Then once home, Sefer received a call and uh, leaves for Fernley Park again after informing his sister that Parker, Accurate's butler has found Accurate murdered. But when Sefford arrived at Fenley Park, Parker denied making such a call. Yet he, Sefford, Raymond Blunt, uh, they uh, find Accurate dead in his study, stabbed to death with a weapon from his collection. And uh, then Hercule, uh, Her Hercule Poirot, Poirot, living in the village, comes out of retirement of Flora's request and she does not believe Patton killed Accurate. Despite him disappearing and police finding his footprints on the study's window, Poirot learns a few important facts on the case, all in the household except uh, parlor maid Ursula Bourne having alibis for the murder. While Raymond and Blunt they heard 
Ek, you're talking to someone after Shepard left. Flora was the last to see him that evening and Shepard met a stranger on, on his way home. Then at uh, Fernley Park's gates, Eckert met a representative of a dictaphone company a few days are, are earlier. And Parker recalled seeing a chair that had been in an old position in the study when the body was found and that has since returned to its original position. The letter from Mrs. Ferrers, it has disappeared since the murder and Poirot has asked Shepard for the exact time he met a stranger. Then he later found a goose quill and scrap of starch cambric in the summer house and a ring with the inscription from R in the backyard. Uh, mor moreover, uh, Raymond and Mrs. Uh, Eckyard uh, later re revealed that they are in debt, but Eckyard's debt will resolve this as, as they stood to gain from his will. Now Flora admits she never saw her uncle after dinner and she was taking money from his bedroom. Her revelation uh, also throws doubts on everyone's alibis and leaves Raymond and Blunt as the last people to hear Eckert alive. And now Blunt reveals he is secretly in love with Flora and Poirot calls a second meeting, adding Parker, the butler, Miss Russell, the housekeeper, and Ralph Patton, whom he had found. Then he reveals that the goose quill is a heroine, heroine uh, holder belonging to Miss Russell's illegitimate son, uh, the stranger whom Shepard met on the night of the murder. Then he also informs everyone that Ursula secretly married Patton as the ring he found was hers and it was discarded after Patton chastised her for informing his uncle of this fact which had led to the termination of her employment. Poirot then proceeded to inform all that he knew the killer's identity confirmed by a telegram received during the meeting and uh, though he did not reveal the name instead he issued a warning to the killer when Poirot was alone with Shepard he re revealed that he knew him to be a cure's killer then Shepard was Mrs. Ferrer's blackmailer and murdered uh, Eckert to stop him knowing this and he suspected her suicide note would man mention this fact and so he took it after the murder then he uh, used a dictaphone uh, Eckert had uh, to make it appear he was still alive when he departed. Before looping back to the study's window to, to plant uh, Patton's footprints, Poirot had noted an inconsistency in that time he mentioned for the meeting at the gates. As he wanted to be on the scene when Eckert's body was found, he asked the patient earlier in the day to call him sometime after the murder, so as to have an excuse for re returning to family, Fernley Park. Then Poirot's telegram uh, come from this. When no one was around in the study, Shepard removed the dictaphone and returned the chair that concealed it from view to its original place. Then Poirot told Shepard that all this information will be reported to the police in the morning. And Dr. Shepard continued writing his report on Poirot's investigation, and, uh, means this novel it itself that we are reading and that you will read. I. I am con confident that you will read and you have to read. And uh, ad admitting his guilt and wishing his account was that of Poirot's, uh, Poirot's failure to solve Eckert's murder and the novel's epilogue it serves as his suicidal note. So if we talk about characters, then there are many important characters. Harkuli Poirot, uh, he is a retired from his role as a private detective, but he resumes his profession when requested to assist in the in investigation. And he is a friend of the victim, and this is one. Uh, he is one of the pivotal characters of this crime fiction. Then we have got Dr. James Shepard. He is the local doctor, Poirot's assistant in his investigation, and the novel's narrator. Then we got inspector davis he is the local inspector for king's abbott and the investigating officer next is inspector raglan he is a police inspector from the nearby from the nearby larger town of Lancaster. then we have got colonel melrose he is the chief constable for the country then we got roger Eckert. he is the victim of the case a wealthy businessman and widower uh, who is distressed by the recent death of the women he wished to marry mrs fellers then we got Mrs. Ferris. She is a widow who was rumored to have poisoned her husband, Ashley Ferris, a mean alcoholic, but she committed suicide at the start of the novel. Then we got Mrs. Cecil Eckert, widow of Roger's brother, Cecil. She and her daughter have been living at uh, Fernley Park for the past two years and are, and are fi financially dependent on Roger. Then we got Flora Eckert. Eckert's niece, Cecil's daughter, requests 
Poirot's help to investigate her uncle's murder, and she is engaged to Ralph at her uncle's request. I'm aware her fiancé has already married Ursula Bourne. Then we got Captain Ralph Patton. Uh, he is a accurate stepson from his late wife's previous marriage, and it is referred to sometimes as his adopted son and secretly married to Ursula Bourne and the police prime sus suspect in the murder. Then we get uh, Major Hector Blunt. Edgar's friend, uh, he is a big name hunter, sorry, a big game hunter, and he is also a guest of the household. He is secretly in love with Flora, and he presents when the body was found. Then we get uh, Geoffrey Raymond, Edgar's secretary, a young and energetic man in his profession. Uh, he is present when his employer's body was found. Then we get J John Parker. John Parker is Eckert's butler. It is, uh, he is cla claimed to have not called out Shepard to Fer Farnley Park the night of Eckert's murder and is present when the body was found. Then we got Elizabeth Russell, Eckert's housekeeper and an attractive woman of her age. Then we get Ursula Bourne, Eckert's uh, parlor maid. Parlor maid, and he, she is a lady of nobility, forced into service through poverty, and she is secretly married to Ralph and is fired when she calls, when she tells Eckert of this. Then we get at last uh, Russell uh, Charles Ken, uh, who was Russell's illegitimate son, a drug addict, recently arrived from Canada. He is encountered at Fernley Park's gates by Shepherd on the night of the murder. Then there are many characters. Uh, not not many let me finish it so we have got now another character is caroline shepherd the dr shepherd's older spinster sister and she has a notable gift of staying informed on all activities in the village then we got mrs uh, foliot ursula's older sister but concealed this fact when providing references for her to become a par parlor maid of acures then we get mr hammond uh, acures lawyer then we get sips uh, steward he is an out of town town unknown male patient of dr shepherd Later found to have made a telephone call to him from the local train station, which Poirot confirmed by a telegram received from their ship.